What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to turn on installing unknown apps or third-party apps in Android. So this is roughly similar for all new Androids. I just want to mention that it's slightly different between different companies. Like for example, Sony has their own settings screen. This will look different than a Samsung, but thankfully this setting is roughly similar across all Androids because I've done this on Samsung and Sony. I have this is my old Sony Xperia 1. I have the Sony Xperia 1 4. I did it on that. This is exactly the same along the Sony's, but Samsung it's also the same thing. It's it, the setting is called unknown apps and this is what we're going to enable. So basically go to your settings app. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You should know how to do that and then search unknown up here. If I could spell. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the option for Sony is install unknown apps and it's very similar for Samsung, if not the exact same. So just click on this and then it'll bring you right to the option here. Click install unknown apps. And here we have a bunch of applications that can actually install other apps. Like for example, email, you can um, receive an APK file through your email, click on it, download it, and then install it. That counts as installing it from email. Google Drive, Firefox, and so forth. But I'm just gonna do it for Firefox because I already have it enabled for Chrome at the top here, as you can see. Um, so let's do it for Firefox. Generally, you're gonna wanna do it for a web browser if you're downloading APK files and stuff. And this is all for things not from the Google Play Store. So they like to put some uh, guardrails in place here. As you can see, your phone and personal data are more vulnerable to attack by unknown apps. By installing apps from this source, you agree that you are responsible for any damage to your phone or loss of data that might result from their use. So they're basically like, all right, if you turn this on and your phone gets screwed up and you install some app that's a virus, this on you. And that's fair, but I'm willing to take that risk. So I'm gonna turn this on and that's all it is, guys. Now, if I go on Firefox, I'll be able to download an APK file and install it. It may give me another warning saying that it's potentially harmful, but it will let me install it. So that's all that matters. If you get that warning, just ignore it and keep going. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to enable developer options or anything. This just is an option on your phone. And yeah, hopefully you guys found this quick video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.